crazy week huh yeah it is it is and first of all i do want to say for all of our friends i have three biracial children of my own and just know that we do not stand for injustice we are with you um trying to stay educated as well um you know we we've got to raise our kids to be color kind you know um different isn't scary and i think it helps if we can raise them like that and just show them that that's what makes up this world. But also, you know, we do need to stand for injustice. And so just know our hearts are with all of our friends and family. So we are with you as well. Um, and it does start at the home, you know, it does. you know, that as well as I do. And it does start at the home, just teaching that love to others. That's right. And I also wanted to say things have kind of opened back up here and we have started, um, Kaysen is playing um, softball for the first time this year. I know you've got baseball going on. Yes. All that is starting back. And so it's just been crazy, crazy. So Casey, been did, Ale did Alexis play in softball or is she going to be your first softball? So here's the deal. Alexis decided to play. So Alexis is my 21 year old. So she mm -hmm. decided to play softball in middle school. And let me just tell you what happened. This is so funny. I'll make it so quick. But, you know, that's was fast pitch. And so they were giving her the signs like to, you know, steal. So she was up to bat and it was her first time to ever play. But she just had that like cheerleader personality. So they were mm -hmm. like, OK, we'll let her play in the scrimmage. She's up to bat, Ricky. And the coach gives the person on first the sign to steal. Well, the ball's not even pitched. And Alexis drops her bat and takes off running to first. She thought that sign was for her to just go <laughs> steal and run to first base. But needless to say, softball was not her sport. Everybody started busting out. They were like, what in the world? So it was crazy. But like I said, it, you know, hopefully Kaysen will get, get, get used to the rules a little bit sooner than Alexis did. But it was well, does, definitely fun. Does, does Antoine, will he be coaching? He is not the coach. Um, he was more football. Mm -hmm. Does Ron coach your boys? He coaches the girls, actually. He coaches the softball. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's ready to hang that up, though, because Banks is getting pretty up there in the baseball leagues, leagues now. So he's going to start, I think, going that route. Gotcha. Okay. But, but for all we knew for the longest time, softball was life because, you know, we have the three girls. So, yes. Now, baseball. Oh, I know. Um, Kaysen, head on, honey. Hey, Kaysen. So, um, also, uh, speaking of Ryan and mm -hmm. June brings up Father's Day. Yeah. And so that makes me so excited about today as well. <laughs> How our, our groups kind of change directions. Instead of having a lady as our guest, we are excited to have Jordan Robinson, Robinson with us and kind of give us that side of the story, the man side. <laughs> yeah. So when Robbie and I are talking, when we talk about who we want to come on the show, um, you know, we try to find women who are like, in the depths of mom life and just busy, 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 but also trying to run a business. And so we were talking about Father's Day coming up and like maybe getting some ladies on to talk about Father's Day gifts and what we've got planned. And I was like, well, hold up a minute. Why don't we just, you know, change change uh, directions here and let's bring on somebody who I know is an absolutely amazing father but he's also an absolutely amazing cheerleader for his wife who is just killing it in her business and so we reached out to jordan and jordan is here with us today we're so excited to hear his take on what life is like um for his family and his wife and how the roles and dynamics have changed for him so super excited to have jordan on yes i'm gonna bring him on now so we can hear from him hey, hey jordan hey how's it going it's great over here. Yeah. Yes. We're doing over here good. too. <laughs> Thank you for being with us today. Yeah, you bet. I'm happy to be here. Some people don't know, but of course we are had a few technical difficulties this morning, but hopefully we got them all worked out. It's just the story of our live show. So Jordan, I did want to know. Um, so just tell us a little bit about you. Tell us like about your life, your family life. Um where you're located, things like that. Just let us know about Jordan. Yeah, sure. 
So <clears throat> we live in Utah, uh, Lehigh, Utah, but I grew up in Idaho, Southeast Idaho, Idaho Falls, Idaho, and I ended up playing high school baseball and then I ended up playing college and professional baseball that kind of took me all over the country. And, uh, and then when I finished playing baseball, I moved up to Spokane, Washington. I had a, I have a brother that lives up there and, uh, about, I don't know, a year after being there, I met Natalie. Uh, we were introduced uh, from mutual friends, and and uh, and I thought, ah, she's cute, but she's going to school, you know, down in Utah, BYU, and I'm and I'm up here in Spokane, and and I'm broke, and I can't be traveling back and forth to chase a girl, and and so you know, I'm trying to get my life started and career started after baseball, and and then she came back up for the summer, and when I looked at her, I was like, oh man, I was like, I got to take her on a date, and. Uh, and Date number one, I called my mom the next day and said, Mom, I took my wife on a date last night. And oh, my gosh. I told her mom the exact same thing the next day. And we were married three months later, which I'm not sure if I totally <laughs> agree. <remember. laughs> wow. So we have a lot of courtship. We've figured some things out along the way that you probably figure out a little bit more when you're dating. But uh but we'll be married for 17 years in October, and and uh, we've got four kids, 13, 11, two boys, 13, 11, and then two girls, nine and five. So wow. we are right in the thick of being busy parents and and uh, and running a business, and and it's been quite the quite the uh, awesome thing that's happened in our life. So we're we're excited for it. That's awesome. Oh my, I did not realize y'all got married so quickly. That's so neat. That's awesome. Most people don't. <laughs> that is wild. Well, Jordan, so tell us when Natalie approached you and said, Hey, I've got this business opportunity. Um, what were you thinking? Because I know you come from like a finance industry. You already were doing that. So um, what were you thinking when she was like, Well, what should I do? Yeah, so it's kind of a funny story. I was working with a guy that his wife was making a six figure income in another clothing company. And I won't say the name, but, but and, and I, and I, when I heard that she was making that kind of money, I was like, man, my wife tried those clothes and she did not like them at all. And I thought if <laughs> make that kind of money selling those clothes that I don't think a lot of people are loving, then that's a pretty cool deal. Right. So then I was actually at, we were at our, our son's basketball game. And I overheard a couple of um, moms sitting in front of me talking about Zaya Active. And so me being the nosy person I am sometimes, I said, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> and they told us, and or they told me, because Natalie, I think, was out chasing Haley, our, at the time, two-year-old. Right. Uh, so I think she was out chasing Haley, and she said, and then when we got in the car, I said, Natalie, I said, you need to do this. I said, if this is... If the clothes are half decent and and this thing's just getting rolling, I said, this could potentially be a gold mine. And I said, you need to do this. And she's like, oh, I don't know, because we we had done a couple things in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'd had some direct sales experience and and we know what goes into it. Like we know that you, you've got to work at it and you've got to put in the right. effort to make things happen. It's not it's not just, hey, let me post a couple pictures and hope somebody buys something. Right. It's just not it's not how it works. And so. A couple days later, she actually saw a gal on Instagram that she follows here locally that signed up to be a rep. And she's like, okay, if she if she likes the clothes, they have to be half decent. And so now he goes, I'm going to order the kit. And I said, okay, great. Order the kit. She got the kit. And she's like, Jordan, these clothes are legit. And they're awesome. Yeah. Okay. I said, let's go. And so from day one, just be and honestly, I kind of owe it to the guy that I work with, which I didn't really get along really well with him. So it's kind of fun <laughs> how it all come to pass, right? But the bottom line is, is you know, knowing that that there's an opportunity out there when I heard of this, and when she said the clothes are good, I was on board from second number one. So I'm not not every husband is like that, and I understand that. And and um ultimately I can just tell you that if any husbands need to talk to me about what <laughs> I'm more than happy to talk to them because it's it's been a game changer for my family. So it's pretty neat. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we've we've run that's awesome. Yeah. And how has it? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Robbie. Go ahead. No, you go ahead, Ricky. I said we've run across several ladies whose husbands are not very supportive. Of course, mine was he's he's not unsupportive by any means, but he's always like, 
what now? What now? You know, what are you getting yourself into now? And, and for me, it's just like, Robbie, I mean, Brian, I need a hobby. Like, and I, originally I took this on like as a hobby and then it just evolved into a business. And so he's seeing the, the you know, the potential behind it. But a lot of women whose husbands are not as supportive, like they really struggle with this. Yeah. They and, want, they want right. that outlet. For sure. And, and I get it. Like I can see from a husband's standpoint, right, of, of not being like totally on board with it. Um, like I said, I think I had a unique experience that kind of set me up for hearing about this and yeah. just knowing, hey, like there's a lot of opportunity that could happen here, right? Um, to be quite honest with you though, I was like, man, if my wife could make an extra two, three thousand dollars a month, that'd be super cool, right? Just some spending cash and you know, travel money, whatever, right? I I've always provided for our family and she's never had to work. And, and, and so we've always had, you know, a, a good life. Not, we're not the richest people on the street. We weren't the brokest people on the street either, but, but we've always, we've always been able to, you know, pay our bills and, and have a little, right. extra, you know, but, but not like travel a bunch and go and do some of the things that we really wanted to, to go and do. And, you know, we've got four kids that are all active in activities and sports and, so I thought, man, if you could just make a couple, two, three thousand dollars a month to kind of supplement, that'd be super cool. And that was just honestly, that was kind of my mindset from the beginning. And now it's totally changed. Looking back, like three years later, it's yeah. totally different, isn't it? Oh man, it's it's the, it's a small business now is y'all's main business. Yeah. So uh actually a year ago this month, I pretty much walked away yeah. from my full-time job. Um, I still do stuff on the financial side of things part time just for people that I love and care about and, and friends and just referrals type of stuff. But I'm definitely not out um, hustling and, and, you know, building my business uh, the way that I was at one time because the roles have really reversed in our house. And Natalie's business has just taken off and she has so many amazing men and women on her team. And. And so I've really tried to take a different role now, which has taken a little bit of getting used to, to be quite honest with you. But, <laughs> I'm sure. Um, but it's, you know, I, I look at it as a total blessing and 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 just being able to um, learn to do different things. I mean, I, I've done more dishes and more laundry over the last year of my <laughs> life than I did in 16 previous years of marriage, right? And I'm like, man, I was like, being a stay-at-home dad's a little tough sometimes, you know? <laughs> well, but, that's what I was going to ask you. Like, to be in the life of Jordan before, like, when, when Jordan was working compared to what Jordan does now, like, what what is it like for you now? Like, what do you do? Yeah. So, I'll help out with anything Natalie needs me to help out with. Like, I, I'm an administrator on some of her team pages and that kind of stuff. So, adding team members and making sure they're on her team. And, and, and I'll help answer questions, you know, sometimes if people need some help. And, um, but if she needs something, you know, go take something to the mail or do something there and do something, go pick up, you know, I mean, whatever it is, um, yes, I, just, I just, yeah, I just really try to help her. I, we, we, what we've really learned. And I think as your business grows in whatever you're doing, um, I really know what Natalie's strengths are. And yeah. so I know what I need to do to just totally give her the time to focus on the things that she's really good at. The other stuff I can do, or we can hire somebody and pay somebody, you know, to do something for her if we need to. So as things have grown and, and, and evolved, um, I really do as much as I can to just like give her the freedom to be able to do what she does best. And that's, but that's taken some time for us to learn kind of what that is. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. It's a total that's adjustment. Not how you load the dishwasher. That's what I'd be saying. That's not how I do it. Yeah. Yeah. No, she doesn't. She just lets me do it. As long as it gets done, I'm good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, too. Is I'm like, listen, I'm not doing this every time. You guys have some chores to do. So. <laughs> exactly. We talk about that a lot on here, Robbie and I do, about our kids. Oh, we do. Our... Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's. Yeah. Really, um, like a lot of people, and, I, and I'll share this just because I think a lot of people want to know is, how has that worked with our kids, right? Because one of the questions people ask all the time, well, how much time are you spending? Like, how much time are you on your phone, Natalie? And to be quite honest, it varies. Some days it's, I, I can tell you right now, the, the last like five or six days of the month and usually about the first three or four days of the next month, 
um, she is really busy, like on the phone a lot. Right. Um, but some of the, the time periods in the middle of that, where it's not as busy, um, you know, she's able to, to take, you know, spend less time doing things. And so we've learned that as a family, we know, okay, on this dates on the calendar, like mom's going to be pretty busy. Right. Mm -hmm. But what we've done is we've included our kids, meaning I've had to sit down with my kids, you know, a handful of times and say, guys, this is what mom's doing. Like, and this is why mom's doing it. And let me tell you what's happening because of mom doing this. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that's mom, awesome. One of us, one of us or both of us is going to work in life. Like that's the world we live in nowadays. Right. Yeah, yeah. And, and so one of us is going to miss out on a soccer game or not be able to take a kid to a practice or, you know, and, and so one of us is going to be doing it. And, and so we've had to sit down with the kids and really have that, but we've also been, I think, really good at providing rewards for our kids, for them being quiet when mom's doing a Facebook live and you know, like those right. types of things where, where we include them on what we do. And so I think our kids feel like they're a part of it, right? Like oh, yeah. when Natalie was trying to rank advance last month, my kids are like, mom, have you done it? Mom, have you done it? You know, oh, and, and so we're talking about it and, and we're, we're, you know, it's a family thing. And, and I think if you do that, at least for us, that has, I think, been a real blessing is to include our kids on what's happening and why we're doing it and share those goals and what we're trying to accomplish. Um, to me, that's a, a really important part of, of moms being busy and doing things is sharing with your kids, like, why are we doing this? And mm -hmm. what's the end goal here that we're trying to shoot for? So, yeah, um, that is true. Yeah. It's taken a little while for us to feel like we're kind of in a groove with it. it I'm not going to lie. There's been times where I'm like, Natalie, if you don't put your phone down, I'm going to throw it in the garbage. I was going to ask you that all if y'all right. ever have those talks. Oh, yeah. I think oh, all yeah. of us sure. do. For and sure. I've got business. They're like, you're on your phone all the time. I'm like, I promise I'm just working. But, you know, you're right. You do have to set it down. Oh, yeah. And you find do. that balance. Honestly, she's gotten really good about it. And I think what I've had to do is I just tell her, okay, give me an idea of what you've got going on today. Right. And mm -hmm. when we look at our calendar and we talk about it, then I think the expectations are set for that day or that week of what's going on. And it just makes things a lot easier. So one big tip is put things on the calendar and communicate really well about what your time looks like. And then <laughs> if it's not that time. Then I tell Nally, okay, it's time to put it away and, and let's be a family. And, yeah. and she's been, really good about that i mean it's still some days are a struggle just like anything but for the most part she's been she's been pretty dang good about it that's awesome and that is important and i like the aspect of making it like a family business making sure everybody's involved and understand what's going on and and congratulations to natalie because y'all did hit it at a presidential yeah. ranking which is so exciting so she did Crazy. meet that goal and the kids were able to celebrate together so that's amazing yeah, yeah definitely sure. amazing so since you have seen it grow and become like that, what do you think some advice you may give a spouse um, that may be leery, like if their partner joining a network marketing company, like what's yeah. some advice you can give them? Because some people think that, you know, different isn't right as far as if this is set up differently. So can it really work? You know, there's just a lot of negative stuff as well, but it, it can, and y'all have seen the results of that. But from a spouse point of view, that may be a little skeptical, what would you kind of give that, that advice? So there's a couple things. Um, when people talk about the structure and, and, and well, it's the guy at the top that makes all the money, at the end of the day, that is completely false. Um, right. In fact, if you actually really look at the way corporate America is set up, corporate America is probably the biggest pyramid scheme or network, right? right? Multi-level. I mean, if I'm a guy that just started it at, you know, Adobe is a software company right by our house. My brother works there. Well, I can tell you right now, my brother doesn't make as much money as his boss does or <laughs> the guy above him or above him, right? And the odds of him ever doing that, unless he moves up in the chain of command, the odds of him ever doing that is it's not going to happen, you know? So at the end of the day, um, the corporate America structure, in my opinion, is probably the biggest pyramid scheme out there um, because you're never going to make more money than the person above you. But on the other hand, my wife up until four days ago, three yeah. days ago, has a team member underneath her that she's made more money than Natalie has probably for about the last year because she's been in a bigger rank. Mm -hmm. uh, and so to me, 
this is the most pure form of work and produce, you will make the majority of the income. Um, and, and that to me is the way the business really should be is you should be paid for your effort. Now, the, the other piece of advice, um, is what is the worst that can happen? You spend 295 oh, in our business, right? And to, and to give it an effort to build it, uh, the odds of people losing money and not having this be profitable, it, it's you're not going to lose very much money. Not if you're being coached correctly and you're being taught how to build this correctly. I mean, when my wife starts new people, she does not tell them to get inventory. You see a little bit behind me, right? But even Natalie doesn't have a ton of inventory. She's never really carried a whole bunch of inventory. She's got a little bit, but she teaches her gals, don't go out and fork out a bunch of money you can't afford yet. Let your, build, your business pay for itself over time. And so if people are taught right, you're not going to lose money. Um, and, and Natalie said it very well one day. She's like, Jordan, she's like, it's either I look at my phone and make money and build my business, or I look at my phone and scroll through Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat and all the True. people that I'm not making any money from, I'm just wasting my time in my life, right? Mm -hmm. And so if people can grasp that and realize that, man, you can be productive on your phone, you can do things, then I, hopefully that helps people, right? To realize I'm either scrolling, looking at nonsense, or I'm scrolling, trying to prospect somebody and meet somebody new and and get somebody to host a party. So at the end of the day, um, there's 24 hours in a day. How are you going to spend those 24 hours? And if you spend them productively, man, it can change a lot in your life. Well, and that's true. I guess, like you said, as long as you, if you put in the work, you're going to see the results of the work. And I guess that's the whole point is that effort and, you know, Sometimes with corporate America, you're exactly right. They are at the top and you don't, yes, they have worked their way there, but then they're able to just kind of sit at the top. And yeah. um, whereas yeah. this is continuous effort and working your business. Yeah. Well, and the other thing is, you know, I, I highly respect and I, I hope I didn't come across as in corporate America is not a good thing. At the end of the day, I oh, highly respect no, yeah. people that, that do put in that time and effort and get to those types yeah. of positions in corporate America. But the, the really scary thing is, is those guys can get fired and let go tomorrow. And so they have no control over what they've done, you know? And so, I mean, I'm just telling you as a, as a male that has put a lot of time and effort to do what I do and, and perfect my craft, um, when somebody else is pulling the strings and, and determining what my paycheck is based on whether I work there or not, mm -hmm. it's, a, it, right. it's an eye opener, right? And so, <laughs> Nobody tells Nally what to do. <laughs> she's yeah. she's the boss, you know. And and at the end of the day, like she calls the shots, and if she wants to work, she'll work, and if she doesn't, she doesn't. And 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 nobody's gonna call Nally tomorrow and say my your paycheck's going away, you know. So uh, you're fired, and that's that is yeah. another beauty of of what we have here. Yes, y'all are so I like good. that. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. You are, and y'all work together so well as a team. Yeah. So, and since y'all do do it as a family, this is going to be kind of different question just because, you know, we're highlighting the dads as well, but also y'all's family business. So if you were to like have a movie, what would you title it about y'all's family or about y'all's business or even just your life? Um, and who would you want to play you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of like Matthew McConaughey. He's kind of a funny guy and he's got a yes. good humor. Um, so I'd probably have him play me. Uh, the title of our, uh, it'd probably be like, check this circus out or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, it's a disaster sometimes, but it's organized. The disaster, that may be it. That could even be fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah disaster. Maybe that'll be the name. But, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a circus sometimes. But, you know, we get here on this in this world, there's no manual. Like we, there's no manual for us. You know, we don't, it's not like we read something and go, well, here's what we're supposed to do. You know, we're, we're just all trying to do our best. And, and uh, I love what you said when we first got on, I mean, just treat people kindly, like just be a nice yeah. person, no matter what their background, their skin color, their, their financial situation, like just be a good person, like, and treat people the way that you would want to be treated. I mean, it's it exactly so cool, right? Just be a good person. And if you do that, I just believe that you'll be blessed for like just being a good person. And that's, 
I mean, Natalie and I have always tried to just be a good person, you know, and and treat people right. And I honestly think that's a big key ingredient to Natalie's success is whether you're frontline or whether you're 12 people deep, somebody that she doesn't even make money off of. My mm -hmm. wife will talk to right. you. Like she's, she is always available to, to help. And people. we can attest to that. She We're is talking. always, mm -hmm. and she will make you feel like you're still her number one, like just yeah. as close, her number one, like yeah. you want to be best friends with her. <laughs> For sure. And that honestly, I, it, it, she's amazing. Like that, that talent that she has is something I really admire because it, it's the, it's the real deal. Like what you see from my wife is what you get. Like she's not a different person <laughs> behind the scenes. Uh, you know, she may complain a little bit or whine a little bit sometimes, but that's human nature, right? We all do. Right. That. But like when you talk about like a golden heart, like Natalie has a golden heart, like she really will do anything for anybody. Yeah. Well, and I believe it says a lot about you too, because it, you know, nobody can be that bright without the people behind them as well. So kudos well, to you as I'm, well. I'm hanging on to her coat, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely and, the better half in this relationship. <laughs> well, now with Father's Day coming up, you know, the month of June. Happy Father's Day, by the way, way coming up. Yeah. So tell us, what is one of your favorite Father's Day memories, a gift you've gotten or something about yeah. Father's Day that has always left a mark? You know, honestly, like, I just love being with my kids, you know, and just being as a family. I, I'm not one that I always have to be entertained or something big has got to happen. Um, I grew up pretty simple, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, just being with my wife and my kids and just knowing we're hanging out and having a good time doing something, whether that's barbecuing or, you know, going to a baseball game or the park or something. Right. As long as we're doing it together, to me, that's that's where it's at. You know, so we're, not awesome. really true, we're in good shape, in my opinion. Do you all have plans already for this week? Uh, that is it two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, I yeah. think. Yeah. No, we don't. We haven't talked about it. <laughs> We're not know. going on to talk about that yet. <laughs> I know that's how wild. Like I'll face that that yeah. whenever yeah, yeah a day before it gets here. So. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, we um again, we're so thankful that you came I on. It's like it has been um. You've got some. You've shared some really good nuggets for some people out there that um are on the fence about this business, and so um. You know, and I, I love the fact that us moms are not, we're not alone. We have, if you know, if, if you've got a cheerleader like you behind Natalie, like, you know, then that's a, you're in the like perfect like storm to just start this and run with it. So anyway, we just appreciate you being on. But we do have some um, mama madness questions. But since you're not our mama yeah. today, All right. we're gonna follow <laughs> daddy madness questions. OK, so we're going to just shoot some questions at you and you can just um, answer um as quickly as you can. Okay. Right. So, are you shy or outgoing? I think we know the answer. Yeah. Very outgoing. <laughs> very outgoing. <laughs> very much a people person. Yeah. So who would you love to meet, whether dead or alive, in interview? So I, my name is Jordan and I grew up a huge Michael Jordan fan. Uh, in fact, yes. the, the last dance that just happened, I mean, honestly, oh. I was like, I, it was like so nostalgic for me. And I think I've probably bought like 10 pairs of Air Jordans in my <laughs> Because I've been so like, it's just, I, I just love, I, I'm a shoe guy. I love shoes. But, but bottom line is, is I would love to, I'd love to sit down with, with Michael Jordan someday. That would be really cool. That's wow. a good one. Yeah. And the last dance was awesome. I loved yeah, it. They it did a great job with that. Awesome. Yeah. And if you ever want to shoot a picture of those Jordans over to my son, he's obsessed. So like, yeah. he would think you are. Yeah. Uh, I got a few of them. God, yes. <laughs> yeah. um, favorite food? Um, probably sushi. We actually went and grabbed sushi to oh. celebrate Allie's rank advancement yesterday. So sushi is a good, we like sushi in our house. Yeah. Raw or cooked? Uh, raw. Ew. Oh, <laughs> I gotta have mine like temperature. The raw ones are good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mountains or the beach? Which do you prefer? So I live in the mountains, so I see those every day. Um, but man, I sure do love the beach. So if I really had to choose, I'd probably say the beach. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, the last one was who would be, yeah. who would you need to play in a movie? And we already know that. So, <laughs> All right, so I want to say one last yeah. thing. 
Yeah. So in my yes. life, the people that I've watched that have been successful, um, when a husband and a wife are on the same page and they really like are shooting for a common goal together and they talk about it and they dream about it and they, they, they really just internalize what that can do for them and their family. To me, it's the most powerful thing in the world when a husband and wife are on the same page doing stuff. So if you're not <clears throat> work towards that, and I'm not going to say it's going to happen overnight. Um, but if you're not, do what you can to work towards that. And they may, that may take some compromise. If your husband's not totally on board right now, when he gets home from work, make sure you put your phone away. Work during the day when he's not around, right? And respect that side of things, because I can promise you right now, uh, when you start making some money and he starts seeing some paychecks coming in, the tune will change a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so just do everything you can as a husband and wife to learn to be on the same page and have a common goal and common dream, whatever that may be. Um, to me, that is like the most powerful thing you can do as a husband and wife is work together on things. So I will leave you with that. <laughs> that is awesome. That's great advice. Thank you, Jordan. And y'all can yeah. follow Jordan's wife, Natalie, as well. Um, she is mama four doing more. So Definitely check that out also. And Jordan, thank you so much for being on with us today. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yep. Have a great day. Thank you. All right. All right, sis. All right. Great. Yes. uh, That was awesome. It was so good to hear his point of view and coming coming from the dad side and kind of seeing how he's had to pick up some roles that all of us busy mamas know as well. So that was awesome. I liked it. Yes, that was definitely fun, and um, and I'm excited. Yes. So, what do we got for next week, Robbie? So next week we have got an owner of a local boutique, um, just like an online boutique that will be with us. So that'll be fun. She's a busy mama, and then raising kids as well. So that should be fun. Also, I did want to say, um, you know, with Jordan, and he was talking about, you know, just the family being involved. I like that aspect of it. How you can get the whole family involved. And that's kind of like next week, it's um, a mom and her daughter. So it's really cute. So that should be a lot of fun that are working this boutique together online. Um, So it should be interesting. I'm excited. Yeah. All right. Well, so um, what you got for the rest of the weekend? So I'm not sure yet. I got to get it all figured out. Um, Kaysen has got her softball practice, which is now taking over our weekend. So we've got that. What about y'all? Baseball? So, yes, we, one has a baseball tournament, one has softball tournament. So we're going opposite directions. Oh, yeah. And, so good. Um, and then Sunday, I'm leaving for the beach. Yay! Are y'all all going? The whole no. Time? Well, so, you know, Reese was supposed to have her senior trip. And so since we had to hand to cancel that, we decided to just take them, her and her soon to be roommate in, at the college. We're going to take them on just a beach trip. So it's just me and um, Reese and Lane, the oldest. And then um, Marley, her sister, and her mom. So we're just going to go and just have a house with fun. Well, y'all go and enjoy and relax yeah. and get some sun. Well, you know, like I need to get any more, right? I know. I know. Everybody's like, what color are you? What I know. You got like, so tan. Well, I mean, you know, we just live outside in Mississippi. I know. It's just hot. So, um, okay. So um, is that about it for today we got? I think that's about it. And just remember, everybody, live your best life in leggings. <laughs> <Great line. laughs> there you go. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. And remember, next week, 11 a.m., we'll be here again. All right. And thanks to Jordan and his family and Natalie letting us borrow him for a little bit. So right. y'all have a good rest of the day and a good weekend. Okay, bye. Bye.